In order to make the most out of Toggle Plan, you might want to set up some integrations to help you with your project planning. In order to do that, all you need to do is head to Settings and Team in your sidebar and Integrations. And this is where they're all hiding. So first up, we've got the browser extension. Now this allows you to add tasks to Toggle Plan from any website that you're currently on. I'll show you quickly, my Toggle Plan button falls outside the recorded area on my screen, but if I click on it, this pop-up will appear. Now here you can add some details to the task, um, especially the dates are quite important, the project is signee, just so it knows where to populate on your timeline. But this is what it looks like. Now it's also directly integrated with Trello, GitHub, Jira, Asana, Bitbucket, and Podio. And that means that whenever you have a task or a ticket in one of these products, the toggle plan button will appear inside of them. So when you create, when you click on it to create a task on toggle plan, it also adds some information from there already. So it's even faster and more convenient for you. You can download um, the toggle plan button from uh, Firefox store, Chrome store, um, these links here work for that super quickly. And if you want to read more about the Toggle Plans browser extension, you can just click here and that'll take you to our support pages. Next up, we've got the Slack integration. So the Slack integration is perfect for someone like me, for example, who's not a huge fan of email notifications. So if you want the uh, notifications to pop up constantly when you're using Slack, this is really convenient for you. So there's two things you can choose from here. Uh, you can set up um, notifications for any timeline changes. So when any task you follow or assign to or have created is changed or edited by someone. And you can also choose to get the daily to-do lists straightly to Slack. This is really easy to set up. Just pick one, click on it. You just need to choose a user first. So I'm going to choose me and you'll be redirected to this page. And all you need to do here is choose where toggle plan would post on Slack. So just click here in order to choose from your um, channels or for the, from the users that you have set up, or you can simply type in um, Slack bot and get the messages from a Slack bot into, into your Slack. So we're just going to allow that and wait for a minute for my internet. Here we go. So now um, you'll see me on the list here. When we set this up for other users, we'll have a whole longer list. If you ever want to remove this um, integration, all you need to do is click here for removing it and we're done. Now these, this works exactly the same for the daily to-do lists. All you need to do in the beginning is choose the time that you want to get the notification and the time zone is automatically um, generated here from your profile. So whichever time zone you've chosen there is going to appear here as well. And then when you click on add, you're just going to go through the exact same process of choosing where um, Toggle Plan would post on Slack. And the last but not least, we've got our calendar integration. Our calendar integration works via a link. So you'll see the link here, you can copy it and you can paste it to any external uh, calendar like Google, Apple, and many others that allow integrating with Link. So please make sure that your calendar does that. If you ever need to generate a new URL for this, just click here and you'll see the link change there. And you can just copy this and use the next one. There's a couple of things that I wanna mention about this. One is that Please make sure that tasks in your workspace are assigned to you. Um, only tasks that are assigned to you will appear in your calendar. And the second thing is that sometimes the syncing takes quite a while. You'll see we've also got a little bit of a warning here. <laughs> um, so in most cases, it's really quick, but some calendars are um, a little bit slower on this. So please be, be patient with it. Now, if you've got any questions about um, these integrations at all, 
just drop us an email at support at and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.